Ensenada is the oldest community in Baja, California, but it's a city with a new look. Ensenada Bay was discovered by Juan Cabrillo in 1542 and it remained a quiet fishing village for almost 400 years. In 1935, the population was only 4,000. But then a massive $15 million project was initiated by the Mexican government in the late 1950s to build one of Mexico's principal seaports. The building of the harbor meant Ensenada could enter into a new industrial era. An important industry to Ensenada's economy is its fishing industry. Fleets sail out of the harbor and return with tuna and sardines. Last year, more than 12,000 tons of tuna were caught. The Pesquera del Pacifico employs more than 1,000 people, but the fleet is having trouble competing with foreign saners, which are hauling in bigger catches right off the Baja California coast. Do you feel that the Mexican fleet is in any kind of trouble then uh, with so many other competitors? Well, mm, I don't know for the time being. That's a very difficult question. It could be because we have, as you may well understand, to know the resource in order to find out if it's been uh, overexploited, and that's one of our main concerns, I con to control the fleet, yes. Not only the Mexican fleet, but we foreign fleets? All the fleets, yes, all of the fleet in the waters in which we, we, we do our fishing. Another important economic base is Ensenada's cement factory. Twenty years ago, Mexico, and Baja California in particular, had to import most of its cement. But now, thanks to cement plants like this one just south of Ensenada, Baja California is able to produce enough cement for domestic as well as foreign use. The Gallo Cement Works turns out 250,000 tons of cement a year. A new kiln is being built, and by next year, Gallo will be producing 800,000 tons of cement. Baja Californians point proudly to the cement plant as the beginning of heavy industry in the peninsula. How important is this plant to the people here in Ensenada and to the economy of the city? Definitely very important, not only for Ensenada, I will say, but for the whole of Baja California, north and south. This uh, state is growing at a better average than the rest of the states of the country. And cement being a basic product, it's an element for growth. We are complying with the, what in Mexico is called as Alianza para la Producción, which is an alliance for production. Mexico has to grow and we are proud to be part of the growth. Ensenada is also making giant strides in the communications field. XHS TV Channel 23 in Ensenada is the only UHF station in Mexico that broadcasts in color. There's also a cable system so residents can receive television stations in San Diego. It's no surprise that tourism is the city's biggest source of income. Because tourists are so important, steps have been taken to ensure every visitor stay in Ensenada. Precisely our job is that uh, to protect and defend tourists for whatever legal problem they could have here in Ensenada. Uh, that covers a lot of, a lot of things, accidents, uh, probable problems with, uh, with the police or uh, in a hotel or, uh, uh, well, sometimes because they get a little happy <laughs> and uh, uh, they don't uh, respect the police and whatever, and we help them uh, through to get uh, out of uh, every problem that they, they could have. This is Avenida Ruiz in downtown Ensenada, one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Ensenada. But a visit to the city wouldn't be complete without a visit to one of the city's oldest watering holes. is Ensenada at sunset, and without a doubt it's one of the most scenic views you'll find anywhere up and down the Pacific Coast. The people of this coastal community are very proud of what the city has accomplished over the past few years, and they're determined in the future to make this one of the most exciting industrial as well as recreational centers in all of Mexico. Jesse Macias, News 8, Ensenada.